This is South Africa's first adventure talk show. Why, you might ask. Adventure, you might say? Well, our very first two guests went on, shall we say, a character-revealing adventure with us this weekend. And our first guest, uh, well, she is very famous in the United States, not so recognizable on the streets of Durban, maybe. And our second guest uh, is one half of a duo that has probably performed in just about every DJ box in Durban and on just about every festival stage that you can think of in this country. And he also sports a lovely moustache. Anyway, let's meet our guests. <laughs> We're here in the station precinct. It's Durban's coolest, sexiest new place. Cars are racing by, trains are going by, alarms are going off. But this is our beautiful set, thanks to the guys at Conamore. We are here with our guests this evening, the lovely Zama Mamela and Liam Magna, almost as lovely. Yeah. Welcome to the show, <laughs> welcome to Minty. Oh, thank you for this, having us. It's only good. The only way we start the show off, though, is with a little process. <gasps> Tequila! <laughs> Yay! Yay! Okay, <laughs> give, that, give that over to Mr. Hi. Veranda Panda. Don't need to ask me twice. And there we go. Thank you, thank Guys, you. cheers. Welcome to the set. There's a fly in mine, but That's I'm just okay. going to go it's, with uh, it. Welcome to Africa. <laughs> <Africa. laughs> it's it's toasty. Cheers. cheers. Ah. Tequila is a great social lubricant, don't you think? <laughs> <laughs> Zama Mamela, the host, the grand host of Africa on a Plate. So it's true, in the US, if you're walking around on the streets of US, people might recognize you more so than if you're walking around on the streets of Durban? They might just, they might just, but I feel like there's American paparazzi roaming around Durban as well. Looking for you, mm -hmm. somewhere, she's around, she's here. <laughs> so it's good fun, traveling the whole of Africa, you're always away, cooking food, having a good time, and then throwing a feast and... and I've always had an interest in food, but I started to explore it in 2010. I went to chef school and then I moved to Cape Town, was a commie chef. I was like, no, nope, I don't want to be a cog in the machine. I'm going to build my own machine. And that's when Easy Eating was What's born. What's a commie chef? A commie that. chef is like you go into a hotel, it's like you're the first level of the brigade. Oh, I thought it was like a communist yeah. chef. No, <laughs> <laughs> no, no. It's like started from the bottom, now we're here. All okay. right. Yeah. All right. The Thank you, Liam, commie. for those <laughs> pearls. Thank you very much. So Liam Magna, one half of Super Duo Veranda Panda. That's very nice of you. It is. <laughs> well, it's true. I mean, I saw you first many years ago. Uh, in fact, I think it was almost five years ago. I don't know if you remember when I first saw you. And it was the City Hall was your backdrop. And there you came with your thousand. Have you ever seen him play? I have. Okay. I have in the Rivertown district. Ed yes. Morrison's yeah. Yes. Yeah. He pushes a million buttons. He's not just a DJ. Not this guy. Not this guy. He's got a thousand machines and buttons and all that. How did you get into all that? Well, a lot of days... Uh, Nowadays, I think a lot of guys get into music, they just want to DJ. Mm. I started originally wanting to be a producer. Yeah. So the first thing that I got was a turntable and a sampler called the SP606 and something called a Korg Chaos Pad 3. What? what? A Chaos Pad. That's yeah, it's like really Star Trekky. I drove my mother mad by like just remixing samples over and over again. <laughs> right, back to you, Zama. So you travel all over Africa. Now what I want to know is I've seen, I've seen you in the clips sort of walking through the markets of Marrakesh. Lovely, beautiful Marrakesh. Well, here we are in Marrakesh. What I want to know is, uh, with all that food, especially throughout Africa, we know some of the cuisine, shall we call it, in Africa, it's not always the finest, let's be honest. It's not the gay Paris. Okay. So, is there any time when you're on the camera and you're trying some of the food, the guy, and you go, oh, this looks, this is just, and it's actually, <laughs> you want to spit that shit right out. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, I haven't had that experience just as yet. Moroccan food is amazing. Plus, I'm a black Zulu girl, so I've grown up on tribe and usu and so I see that and it's like, mm, let's, what's that? I feel ashamed because every time somebody says to me, oh, tribe, I'm like, oh, yeah, tribe. What is it? Tribe is intestines. Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is the insides of an animal. Hey. Okay. We took young Liam here yesterday out to uh, Cebu's in the Ananda Valley mm -hmm. for a little adventure, part of our adventure, you know. And the first question he asked when he went in the butchery, well, the first thing is, I am not eating heart and I am not eating anything other than that and Your that. Your organs. Yeah, organs. I couldn't do organs. organs. You said, I'm not eating organs. Well, that's tribe, organs in okay. all shapes and sizes. How do you prepare it? Like in a stew? You boil it for a long time. Boil it? Yes. Oh. You boil it, but that's where your flavouring will come from because then the meat is releasing all of its juices. You can add a bit of stock cube to it 
as well to keep the flies away, cut an onion in half. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, look, the homies In the markets, though, in the market, well. sure, Sorry. yes, right, got you. <laughs> Half oh, an okay. onion, chuck it inside there, no pests at all, and it tastes amazing. So, have you seen the movie Spud? No, I haven't seen the movie. It's based about, on a book, right? Yeah, it's based on a book yeah. that's shot right here, John Keith. Boys' Keese. School, something yeah. like that. You haven't seen it? No, I haven't. Have you heard anything about it? I heard it's Do you know about why a he's book? laughing? Because <laughs> oh. he's in it. <laughs> no. I that's smoke. No. Yes. That's it's not thing. about a potato salad, by the way. That's <laughs> not was not. my link. That's the thing what? is that I'm not in it. You were. What? No, I wasn't. You were. I'm in the credits. Why? What so what happened to you? I was on set for three days. What and what happened? Do? I got cut in the edits. <laughs> 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 that breaks my heart, but you're still in the credits. <laughs> Didn't something happen with you and a supermodel on the set? Well, basically That's my role, my role was um, Harry Gavin. And um, <clears throat> on set, my job was when Spud comes out the shower, he gets a fright because I have something very large underneath my towel, which I was given a prosthetic for. Oh, so when I was, yeah. yes, <laughs> well, I wasn't going to yeah, do no, it on no, set. No, so on. when I got the, the sort of prosthetic attached to myself for the scene, I walked around the corner and there was a big crew. And the guys, the one guy said to me, whoa, bro, look at the size of that thing. And I was oh like, I know, I'm Tanit Phoenix's fluffer. <laughs> and Tanit Phoenix was working on the, on the, the, the film. She's a famous supermodel and her, Someone who was in charge of her was nearby and completely lost it with me. That's why you're only in the credits. That isn't That's funny. Why. That's why That's you're only in the credits. I'm surprised it didn't cut you from the credits. Well, I'm in the credits. <laughs> <laughs> and it's. You weren't even in the middle. I still write that in bios. They're no, like, what have you done? I'm like, I'm in spud. spud. How do and you then think they go watch the whole <laughs> movie? <laughs> exactly. You know. <laughs> That's what happened. You're still quite an accomplished actor, award winning actor sitting next to you right here tell her about your 200 rand voucher for the Essenwood market <laughs> no please elaborate i think the best shows i ever did were actually in varsity where you were pushed and yeah. obviously no one cared yes but uh, and then when we left we sort of did our own thing and we won some awards for it i think we won about eight mm. in about two years but our prize for best new south african male actor best new south african script best performance in a comedy there were a few of them was a 200 rand voucher to the Essendon flea market. We were very excited. <laughs> uh -huh. And I went there one morning with a girl and I was like, nah, I get a voucher. And I went there to the Avo on bread stand. <laughs> I was like, I'll have- the best actor in yeah. Durban. I was like, I'll have two of those. Best <laughs> and then, you got. <laughs> you know, I got this. And the person was like, what is this? <laughs> I said, it's a Durban <laughs> Theatre Award. <laughs> And this person was like, I don't know what this is, I'm sorry. Show me the money, show me the money. So Splashy Finn is one of his big gigs. Is it true? So you wrote Spl uh, Sugar Bee, one of your cool recent hits, you wrote that at, at Splashy Finn? Uh, no. Oh. But you read that in an interview. Yes, I did. I did no, my research. Okay, I yeah, thought that no. you, you did, what do you mean? No, the thing is, is they ask <laughs> us a lot of questions that, so that are repeats. Yes. So we get a bit bored. And we just like you get bored of interviews. How are you, hold, how are you yeah. holding up oh in this God. interview? Is everything okay? For <laughs> no, you? I'm telling Can the truth. Can I get truth. you anything? <laughs> Can I get you anything? Are you bored? No, no I'm. I'm <laughs> <laughs> you would have met obviously a lot of the Durban artisans, the food people in Durban, the food people, and of course uh, at Eight Morrison Street, well, the Morrison Street area was home at one time it to was. the morning trade market. Yes. Uh, and it's moved and we went to check it out. Did <laughs> we you? did indeed. Did and it is just as fabulous as it was at 8 Morrison Street. Yeah. And Durban as well, it's like a big, small community yeah. because mm. it's actually then that I got to see Liam play yes. at 8 Morrison Street. Right. And you meet like lots of just amazing people that are doing what they love. Well then let's go to the market and let's have a look at our adventure. Let's have a look. <laughs> So let's imagine we're coming here with a bunch of friends, say there's four of us, we're going to go around and try some of the food. But by the end, I want us to have a, a plate of something that we can share together, because I'm hungry, you're hungry? Yeah. So I've told you two of my favourite things. Eh? What are they? Gin. 
and also gin. Yeah. Okay, so this is like a gin and a cocktail stand. I'm quite yes, happy about that. Yeah. I think everyone, when you come here to the morning trade... Starts here. The perfect way to start your day. Vanilla. -y. Vanilla, dainty, calm, relaxing. Thank you. You didn't just make that up, hey? Okay. <laughs> I feel instantly perfect. Hello. Yes. Dainty. This is, I'm feeling very dainty. Cheers. Thank you. <laughs> Marvellous. Okay. So, I think where should we start? There's a bit about this. This is a really great sample of falafel. The falafel fundi. Yeah. Everyone knows a falafel so, fundi. Then I need to try. Do we kick people out of the queue? Because normally this is the longest queue of the morning train. And what can Always I do? Always the longest Thank queue. Thank you very much. It's your no, fault, Mr. No, falafel No, it's because I'm good looking. Look at you. Ah. Ah. Ah, that's for you too. <laughs> what can I get you guys? We want to first know though what. What is a falafel? What is a falafel? Falafel is made out of chickpeas yes. and herbs. Uh -huh. It's like veda, like the Indian cuisine, but with the Middle Eastern flair. <laughs> okay, let's try that. You better like Cheers. it. If not, I'll give you your money back, but you didn't pay. So we didn't pay. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Falafel for me. The whole thing. All of it. <gasps> the whole thing. The whole thing. Yeah. yeah. It's hot, yes. I didn't want to say nothing. Oh, wow. It's hot. Mm. It didn't hurt so hot. Mm. Oh my god. Is it nice? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm. Yeah. Mm. It's I like it. This is Transkai, this is Cape the Derben. Uh, and, and this is Cape Town. Oh. Hey baby, I want some Cape Town, give us some Cape Town, yes. I really hate the cooking show cliche, do you like sausage? I mean, yes, I like it's sausage. It's like every innuendo ever, but look, <laughs> this is on a different level, I think. Hi. What oh. kind of sausages would you like? Well, I saw, what's this, like a, limpar, like a hammy, parlor, something Ooh, we can have cool. with the breakfast, what's truly. What's this, what's this? That is a cold smoked impala ham. Okay. It's about two to three weeks, depending on the size of a cut, to cure mm -hmm. cold smoke. Mm -hmm. It's based on old Eastern European recipes. Yeah. I can talk about that for three hours, but have a taste. Yeah. It's a taste. <laughs> I find a piece of meat more than that. Not because I made it. So we can have some of that. Let's have, have some of that. Much obliged. Thank, thank you so thank much. You. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Enjoy. Where else have you been? Been to the market in Morocco? I've been to Morocco. I've been to Umlil, which is like a small village literally on a mountain. Um, and I've been to Marrakesh and Isawera. And what do you think of, I mean, gluten free? Do you, I mean, I'm no, per guys. personally, I'll have extra like, gluten with everything. If you're gonna, if you're gonna say it must be gluten free, then just don't eat it. It's not for you. <laughs> Already you're taking away all the pleasures and the guilt that comes from eating it. And it, it's all the good stuff. All the things that you say are bad for your body, that's where the treat in the product comes from. Well, exactly. That's why so, when I go out and someone's like, I'm gluten free, I'll, like, I'll have their gluten free. <laughs> I'm lactose intolerant with their lactose <laughs> in mind. I'll have their <laughs> lactose. <laughs> yeah, like, I don't like wheat, I'll have their wheat. Uh, yeah. Bring it all, bring it all. Okay. And what's going on here? Had scotch egg I've before. never had scotch egg. Never had a scotch egg? So pop okay, my so, cherry roll. Okay, so let me tell you about a scotch egg. A scotch egg is a soft boiled free range egg. Okay. Trapped in pork sausage mince that's okay. ethically sourced. It's uh, antibiotic and hormone free. Epic, epically sourced. Epically sourced. <laughs> epically sourced, <laughs> sourced yes. Well, we come from Hopeleet to McEwerton Avenue, so it's, it's the best quality produce. Okay. Uh, the scotch egg comes from, uh, come from London. It's a, okay. it's a British dish, a quintessential British dish. Um, they got 1753 Fortman Mason. It was an inn on the outskirts of London. So when you went on a road trip, uh -huh. you'd stop there. So this is Pudkos. And you'll pick up the light oak smoke and the crouton crust. Mm -hmm. Any innuendos here you can think mm -hmm. of? This is amazing. Are you full? I'm going to imagine like, oh. this. This is like... <laughs> you didn't exactly cook anything, but you laid on a mean spread for us. I contributed to the process. <laughs> this is good though. You've got to get it stuck into this. Oh. Oh. It's amazing. It's hot, but it's not too hot. It just like swims in your mouth. Mm, nom, I love nom, it. Nom. Perfect. Actually, we're matching oh. a lavender gin. Cheers. Cheers. I put your eye up. <laughs> well, gin for breakfast. Can't be beaten. Zama, what is this thing that I read about you with the movie Julia and Julia? Is it the movie? It's Julia and Julia. Julia it's and about Julia. Julia Child and how she just conquers the hospitality industry. Because, right. I mean, it's dominated by men and she's trying to bring out the finesse of French cuisine, but then all these men are just looking down on her. And she's like, uh-uh. I'm going to show you how it's done. So there's, there's this competition about chopping onions and she chops onions faster than all of the men. And then afterwards, she's like, she drops the mic and some, ha, I 
<laughs> told you. And then she walks off. It's just, it's beautiful. So it's was beautiful. This, did this have something to do with you becoming a chef? Yes, it does. Because when I was still working at a hotel as a commie chef, there were a lot of men in the kitchen. And they didn't take me seriously. Until I worked basically from working the the breakfast buffet, where I'm just frying eggs and omelets and whatnot, to being in an a la carte night shift kitchen. And I've worked the grill, the veg section, and the cold section. And I was like, Aha, Boom. Done. <laughs> Drops mic. Yes. Drops pan. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> yeah. So now you, Liam, you were in Kwame Shu. So there you are on stage on Saturday, this Saturday. Mm. You and Jane, Veranda Panda, come out. Not such a good reception. Look, Jane and I, one thing that we live by is that you may think in your little insular world that you're awesome and cool. Yeah. But okay. the we world think is you're so awesome big. and cool. Hey? Yeah. Some of we think he's awesome. No, but the thing awesome. is. <laughs> do you know what I mean, though? No. The world is yes. so big. Yeah, I know. And we knew when we went there, they're not going to know who we are. Yeah. And I said to the guys, just let us go up there and just perform. And they yeah. were like, no, 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 we're going to introduce you. And they're like, Everybody, and it was like a Zuhoff, Zuluhoff English. Yeah. La, la, veranda Panda, and they all went, Yeah, and then we got on stage and they went, <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. Don't laugh too much. <laughs> it's not dissimilar to what happened on our little adventure. So we took the intrepid Liam from Veranda Panda to Cebu's, uh, the Shisan Yam. Have you ever been in no, the Ananda no, Valley? I haven't. I haven't. We must go. We must, must go. They do a delicious. Um, what did they do? Meat. Um, meat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they do a delicious <laughs> meat <laughs> with very heavy seasoning. Watch for this. Watch how much we season the brisket. Just keep an eye on how much we season the brisket in this bit. So we took Liam there and we thought, we'll take him out there and see if we can, you know, restore his reputation to the people of Kwamashu, the Ananda Valley, and see what we could do there. Let's take a look what happened. What do you have? Black, uh, label. Black, black label. Black label. Hundred percent black label. When in Rome? Uh, <laughs> Thank you. The oyster box. If you buy a quart, the oyster box. Uh, you can't buy quarts at the oyster box. <laughs> so what I do think we should do here <laughs> is go to the butchery where the queue is at the moment because we need to get some meat. I'm starving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's is this? the liver? Is the kidney? Kidney. The liver. Is liver. Brisket and roast. Brisket and roast. I can't I'm do good. organs. I'm a bit not partial, man. <laughs> yeah. You think we just need a bit of brisket? Yeah, and I'm thinking. Can we have two brisket and a little bit of borovos for the two of us, please? Thank you. Whoa. 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 I think they're used to ordering a little more than just this is your. We'll just have a little polite little hors d'oeuvre. <laughs> yeah. This is the shisa part. The shisa of the Yama. Hello, gents. Oh, hello, hello. Whoa. We didn't bring a lot. No, we didn't. I'm quite embarrassed at how much we brought. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you, would you like some seasoning? Yeah, well, yeah, it, I think it's, um, you know the expression, as it comes? Yeah. Here's lunch, here's lunch. Thank you, thank you very much. This is hot, 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 hot. I got, got oh it. Oh my God, it's hot! <laughs> I got no, no, I'm good. No, 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 what, I mean, you've done. <laughs> no, we're fine. <laughs> we're fine. We're fine, we're fine. No, no, no. No, I don't. Okay, so. <laughs> okay, best gig, best gig, you've done, how many gigs would you say? Go, how many like? We were trying to count the other day, we put it somewhere around 800. <gasps> in how many years? In like four years. Soak this in this lovely hot sauce, please eat that, while telling me the story. I'm not going to eat it. Just eat it while you tell me the story, okay. without flinching, go. Yeah, so in Pretoria, okay, please carry on, they've got time here. I swallowed the whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> So in Pretoria, yeah. we played an amazing gig for like 120 people. Yeah. Carry on, please. As I've opposed to like our one main stage gig at Splashy, which was about 5,000. Because just we played. Just imagine. Just imagine. Just imagine. I'm a drunken master. She's a drunken master. <laughs> she, she knows. She knows. Uh, we and. We in um in July. Yes. We, yeah. We played a show in uh in Jeffrey's Bay. Yeah. And we played to the two cleaners. <laughs> did they love it though? No. Okay, okay, so on that, do you did any 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 crazed fans? Come on, has anyone sent you panties in the mail or something? Yeah, no, we've had crazy fans, but they only last so long. 
I feel like they have them taken care of. What are you talking about? No, they just oh, disappear. Uh, I feel what like are you saying? no. I feel like people latch onto something because they think it's cool. Yeah. So in that time of their life, they think that what we're doing is cool. So yeah. they latch onto it. Then they grow up and they're like, I hate this music. I'm moving on. Right. Um. But so, we have had. There was a girl who used to call me at all hours of the night and just sit on the other end of the phone. And I oh, knew that, it was her. Oh, it was because I might have done that a few times. <laughs> <laughs> no, and I knew it, and I knew it was her, and she would just sit there on the other end of the phone. And I'd be like, "What do you think she was I'd doing?" I'd say her name, and she would just keep quiet. What do you think she was doing? Painting uh, it. Uh, court mm. bottles. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Did you bring any of your music with you? It's a thing about um, musicians these days. Well, it's on your phone, isn't it? Yeah. No, okay. but it's. I have my laptop. Do you? Yeah. Well, you know all the memes. Have you heard my mixtape? Have you heard my mixtape, bro? It's fire. It's fire. Okay, so, no, no, pass. So maybe we'll, um, I think because this is nice, but it's all quite romantic. <laughs> romantic? Isn't it? Just you and me. Yeah, it's great first 12 date. liters of black label and some highly seasoned um, uh, brisket. Okay, what we'll do, let's finish trying. And then we're going to sneak upstairs because there's... Action upstairs. Aux cable. Okay, we've got an aux cable. Aux cable. And I think we're missing out down here. I think we need to go upstairs and get down with the peeps. Let's and do play it. a song. We're gonna play one of your songs. Yeah. Cool. Let's do it. Bring your beer. We'll come back to this. Alright. Let's go see if we can find it. We'll play your song. One of you guys bring this, please. <laughs> Sugar B, which is which is your biggest hit? Um Biggest hits probably dopamine. Yeah. No, I like pineapple Sunday. Oh yes. It's yes. just got it's just got the longest air time. Yeah. My favorite's probably Sugar Bee though. Yeah. Because we do all the lyrics. Yeah. I know I like it. It's got a bit of a Jack yeah. thing to it. Well, yeah. I like that because I like him a lot. Think, what are you gonna play? Definitely our latest single, which is Imnadi. Which means. Nice, delicious. sweet, tasty, delicious. delicious. Lovely. I don't think we're gonna compete. Yeah. I think the Chiefs scored a goal. Yeah, me too. I think this might be a good time to celebrate with your soul. Okay, maybe let's just try. Okay, let's, let's go. go. Give it a go. <laughs> Well, I'm not sure Miranda Panda was a hit in Ananda. These three ladies really liked it, so. <laughs> so we tried. We did try. It was a good try. We did really well, Liam. The ladies liked it. You know what? You should have seen that sound system. No, it was a bit of trouble. Didn't do me justice. Yes. No, yeah. no, no. Guys, I just want to say thank you so much for coming on the show for our inaugural episode of our adventure talk show. Thank it's you. It's been an honour. It's it been was. great oh, fun. Really? Thank no, you. Thank you. What's next? What's next for Zama? Well, I don't, I don't need that anymore. What's What's next for you, Mama? More adventures with Africana plates and completing my national diploma in hospitality management. You're not qualified yet. I am a qualified chef. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm going to be a hospitality guru. Levels. Ah, levels, 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 <laughs> levels. Drops, drops pan. <laughs> yes. Uh, I love you, thank you so much. Next for VP. Lots of small plans, new singles, but the ultimate thing is we want to create a physical album now. One we, that you can hold yeah, in your hand. One that you always get told. You can't hold an MP3 in your hand. Yeah, <laughs> they're always like digital, digital. Real albums are a waste oh. of time. Are you going to make a, a But we want a CDC with no artwork ways. and everything. We, you know what we're going to call it? What? Easy listening for the over 20s. Easy, easy listening, listening easy like eating. We could have a dinner pairing, like a dinner. Easy I eating, music. Think of that. I did. That's why you're here you on the camera. No, I had no senses. idea. That's perfect. So Guys, it's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you very much. Till next time, <laughs> we're going to do this again.